Hello, welcome to The Residence. Uh, we're here today to show you some of the art from uh, the Art and Embassies collection that friends of ours in North Carolina, artists in the Saints of Paint Collective, and others have graciously lent to me and Allison to display at our home. When Allison Cosnet and I first traveled around Kosovo in 2003, we were struck by how much the beautiful landscape resembled our home in the mountains of Western North Carolina. So when we returned to Kosovo three years ago, we wanted to bring some works with us that would highlight the beauty of the environment in North Carolina to our friends in Kosovo. Most of these works were provided by the artists John McKay and Ruth Ann Kay and their partners in the Saints of Paint Collective. Now, the Saints of Paint is not just an artist collective. It's also a civil society organization that engages in environmental protection, that seeks positive social change, and also protects the rights of animals. Recently, Allison and I were back in North Carolina and we had the opportunity to sit down with the Kays to talk about their work as artists and as activists. Well, we're here today with the artists John McKay and Ruth Ann Kay in their studio in Asheville, North Carolina. Uh, John, Ruth Ann, maybe you could start out by telling us a little bit about how you became artists, what art means to you. <laughs> You're an artist. I'll take that. Um, I've been painting for about 40 years and um, I have a degree in education and in art, but the at a young age I, I realized that um, art was my thing, that drawing and eventually painting was something I just had to do. And uh, I've always been motivated and inspired by nature. I've always been fascinated with color and light and, and how how the materials behave. Enjoy working with different different kinds of mediums. So, what inspires you both when it's it's time to do a new piece? What brings you to that? Uh, nature is my inspiration. Um, um, landscape primarily, but also wildlife. I do a lot of wildlife animals, and um, being inspired by a moment uh, where the light hits it's the scene, that, um, that is it. I, I also increasingly find myself engaged by narratives and what, what kind of story, what kind of conversation am I engaging in both with the, the, the subject matter as well as, as you know, my personal process. And then how is that gonna play out? How, does that, how will that engage a viewer? Yeah, John, you had mentioned how uh, you're inspired by the environment. Yes. One of the things that interested me and Allison in your work, Ruth Ann's work with the Saints of Paint, is that you're connected to environmental activism, which is a very important topic in Kosovo as well as the United States. Let's hear a little bit more about that. Well, the, the, the Saints of Paint, uh, they're a group of like-minded artists that I started about five years ago. And it came out of, we were doing a group show together, and we all kind of sat down, drank some wine, and said, you know, why don't we do, do a group show and then have it benefit something that we all love? And everybody said, well, that's the environment, instead of the gallery. So we, um, next thing you know, we were partnering with um, a nonprofit and where the nonprofit acts like the gallery, they do the, the promo work, a lot of the footwork. We supply the artists and the artists, and we split the money with the nonprofit instead of with the gallery. And everybody is happy. And so far, after uh, almost six years, it's working pretty good. We've raised a serious amount of money for good um, environmental nonprofits. Yeah. And it's also about the camar camaraderie of being in touch with 
with um, the, the mission for the not-for-profit. We've worked with agencies like the Blue Ridge Parkway Foundation, which is part of the National Park Service, um, Riverlink, which is a local river and, and uh, water um, protection agency, Appalachian Wildlife Refuge, which does rehabilitation of, of everything from possums to bears. Um, the, and with one of the um, uh, native habitat um, protection agencies. The, the, and, and all of that brings together the, the, the artists with um, a, a different audience and, and one where we have some um, an, an opportunity to support those those agencies' missions and and their intent, which is to preserve and protect and and restore. Um, we recently worked for Appalachian Bar Barn Alliance, and they have over twenty thousand hand built barns out of chestnut and, and um, which is um, has has been basically lost in, in the early 1900s to chestnut blight. Um, so they're handcrafted folk barns that are, that are lovely and part of the community. They're still in use. Some of them um, are needing, in need of restoration. And, and um, we went on tours. And so there's an element of education to the, ex the, the shows that we put on. And we want to reach out to the audience that supports that, mm -hmm. those agencies. Expand so awareness. Well, Allison and I are delighted to have your works and works of your partners in Saints of Paint in our home as, uh, as, we are honored. as part of our Art and Embassies exhibit. Is there anything else you'd like uh, to tell our viewers in Kosovo? Well, I, I certainly hope they've enjoyed the work. It's been an honor and a privilege on our, our part. And if it's expanded some kind of um, awareness, um, about some of the beauties of America and also the relationship and interchange of societies, then I'm, I'm very happy. Well, we look forward to seeing more of Kosovo. Yes. <laughs> we look forward to hosting you there. John Mack Kay, Ruth Ann Kay, thanks very much. Thank, Thank you. you. The collection also includes three works by the New York artist, Carrie Mae Weems, that are meant to show how African-American women in particular struggle to be noticed, to become visible, to take their uh, rightful place in American society. And as we work to build diversity and inclusion in the United States and in Kosovo, these paintings are a reminder of the responsibility we all have to build societies with true equality for all. No Art and Embassies collection would be complete without photographs of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., one of the greatest Americans of the 20th century. I hope you enjoy these works. Thank you for joining us today.